Hello everyone, Creative Inners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we are going to design this amazing looking presentation slide and look at these beautiful spheres. So this is a very unique kind of a design especially the animation. If you just take a look at the animation, it looks really beautiful. So here you can see all the spheres are falling or bouncing and then the text is popping out of these spheres. So we have used like six spheres you can increase or decrease as per the requirements. So in today's tutorial we are not going to cover the slide tutorial in a way like we used to do every time from start to finish but we are going to dissect the slide so that you can see and remember the settings like how we have created each component so if you just take a look at this slide there are three main components one is the background second is the shadow and third are these spheres and of course the fourth is the text which you already know how to do it now let's start dissecting the slide let's first talk about the background if you just select the background and here you can see under the fill options we have clicked here gradient fill and the gradient fill has two gradient stops one and two on the first stop we have filled the white color here you can see the color and on the second gradient stop we have filled this second color blue accent one lighter 60 percent and always remember the type of gradient we have used is radial and under radial you will find these five options like four options are from the corner and one from the center so we have selected the center one so if i move this slider from left to right you can see the change and the impact on the screen so this is how it functions so regarding the position position means the position of the slider on the bar so the first step is done the background is done i hope everything is clear till now second comes this shadow effect and in order to create this shadow effect what we have to do is you have to insert a circle like this and draw it like this and then remove its outline and fill gradient color and under gradient you will find these four options click on the path so this is the path and here you will find these two gradient stops you only need two on the first one fill black color and on the second one as well fill the black color for on the second gradient stop move this transparency slider 100 percent to the right it means make it transparent and on the first gradient stop keep it like 60 to 70 percent we have kept it on 64 percent and gradient type is path color is black on both the gradient stops and second gradient stop you have to move it like at 61 percent or 60 percent so you will get this kind of shadow effect and then you can manually adjust it like this so this is how you can create this shadow effect so the second step is also done i hope everything is clear till now and if you are new to our channel please subscribe to our channel join the membership by clicking on the join button and you can always support us by liking this video sharing this video with your friends and colleagues now let's learn the third item which is to design these spheres so in order to design this sphere let's pick this one sphere and let's remove all the other components so that you can see how we have created these spheres now this is one of the sphere with its rope and let's fill some dark background here select the background and fill some solid dark colors and why i am doing this i'll let you know just select all these items i mean this complete element and press ctrl shift g this will ungroup the items press again Control shift g one more time and that's all 
it means ungrouping the items and you can also do the same by right click grow group and then ungroup and now if we remove all the elements here not remove i mean move all the elements here and you can see here we have these three main elements one is this line second is a text and third is this sphere line you know it's very easy just go to insert and insert a straight line and then fill a gray color we have filled this white background one darker 35 percent gray color here and we have kept the width at 1.5 points and nothing else is changed here everything is default for the fonts we have used questrial font it's a free google font and here we have used the text is in all caps and we applied some text styling here like we have positioned the text like this now comes this third part this sphere now if we ungroup it ctrl shift g you will find these many layers so this sphere is designed using these four components first one is this complete circle you know how to do it it's very easy so let's focus on this circle at the moment so here we have used a gradient fill no line radial type make sure the gradient is radial type and we have used this the first one from bottom right corner direction and then we have used three gradient stops on the first one the color is this dark blue on the second gradient stop we have filled a different color go to more colors and this is the color we have filled and we have filled the same color on the third gradient stop as well but on the third we have kept the transparency at 100% now the magic is here the second gradient stop is at 68% and this gives it uh, this dark and bright tone here if I move the slider and you can see the difference here just focus here and I'll move the slider and you can see how it works so gradient basically is the flow of color and the reason I applied this dark background here so that you can see these items because on a lighter background these are very difficult to view and if I change the color to like gray again and here you can see if I do this you can see the output so that's the use of colors so that like you can easily understand like what's happening here now comes these two shapes so till now everything is clear we have designed this shape now and now in order to create this kind of shape it's very easy there are two copies of this circle and change its color so that you can easily see it and place it like this select the background then the foreground go to shape format merge shape subtract and you will get almost similar shape apply gradient fill we need two gradient stops here let's see what kind of settings we have done here yes two gradient stop first one is white second one is also white but second one is at 52 percent the position and the transparency is at 90 percent so if we move it to like 52 percent and keep the transparency at 90 percent and apply white fill so it will look like this one And on the first gradient stop, keep the transparency at 0%. At 
on the second gradient stop you have to keep the transparency at 90% so now you can see both are looking similar and similarly you can design this shape as well again pick this circle draw a second circle like this change its color so that it, you can e easily view it like this this time it's very thin it's like the background then foreground format shapes and subtract again apply the gradient fill here and you know how to fill the gradient here again two gradient stops we have used first one transparency is zero position is zero second one the position is 47 percent but the transparency is at 100 percent and then you can achieve this kind of a shape here so once we have created one shape like this simply add this line and the shape is ready and just duplicate it change the color and you will get this kind of a layout and after that add this text box and here you can say we have we have used two text boxes and use the monster at font it's very easy just change the color from here and after that once everything is all set next comes the animation part so how the animation works go to animation tab and click on this animation pane so like this is our first sphere so we have applied this fly in animation and effect is from top so this should fly from the top like this and how we have applied this bouncy effect for that you have to right click on this go to effects option and here you have to move this slider towards the right like 2.94 seconds this bouncy end so this will give it a nice bouncy animation and make it on make it work on click when you will press any key on your keyboard the animation will start and we have to attach this text box with this sphere so when this sphere will bounce this text box should appear for that we have applied the peak in animation on this text box this text box will peak in and here we have applied the after previous on this animation like after previous means when this sphere bounces and or you know reveals itself then this animation should be in after this so this means after the after this animation apply the same style or the same animation on all these spheres and when you will view it on your full screen mode it will work like magic and this is certainly a, an impressive concept and i hope your bosses or teachers will really find it interesting or even or your audience and you can really you know make them feel happy like you have done something new and very innovative so so this is uh, one of the concept that i tried so i hope you really like it and please subscribe to our channel join the membership please make sure to watch the videos till the end this will really help us and support us in running our channel and we will keep you keep you guys updated with all the latest and creative stuff and do not forget to download this from the g drive link provided in the video description and keep watching our videos stay awesome